Hello, I am Ren, I explain Cardedex, or Connor, and welcome back to RimWorld, The Grove's Tenants. As you can see, everything is still going pretty smooth. We have some potato plants and everything roaming around. We also have some baby calves. Oh, immediately pain. Why? Oh, no. A group of brigands from Roko Covenant have arrived nearby. They will prepare for a while, then attack. Prepare a defense or attack them preemptively. Their points used 89. Two whole people. Oh, Alexandria. Alexandra. Hawkeye and Odette. Man, oh man, where are they going to go? Probably either on that right side or just straight down the middle. That's going to be fun. Valerie crashing in a pod nearby. Okay. Cool. <laughs> cool. And we had a crash pod somewhere over here. There we go. What in the hell? Infernal tiefling. Oh my goodness. That hates men. Yeah. Okay, I guess, uh, first things first, let's, um, I guess get ready some things here, if we can in time. See what we can actually do before, uh, pain hits us here. Okay. Is anyone gonna build that? Or no. Who is set to building, actually? I should check that. Gray, Peza. We'll have Dragon start that as well, just in case we can get some stuff preemptively. Oh, Guadu League. Butcher. <laughs> nice. Hey, you go fight them. You go fight the Raiders. Sirens blazing along the territory, much like the first time the tribe had arrived though something was different now. The biometric scanners of those proximity sirens feel danger this time. Raiders. Beings of unlawful intent, hell-bent on sending hateful waves of bloodthirsty person or beast. Masters of pillaging and murder. It takes a strong arm and stomach to deal with such people. How will our grove fare? Can the grove fend for themselves well? Or will the following participants of chaos deal a final blow to the old grove's will? Who the hell fought bears? Why did the bears fight each other? What? What the hell? That's weird. I was not expecting that, actually. Well, what are you building up here? It better be something good, I swear. Oh, the rest of our floor. Hey, look at that. <laughs> uh finish up our floor. Oh no, and we're getting attacked. Okay. Let's get people prepared here. Dragon, Lotus. Peza. Gray. So we don't have Poob yet. Poob's still Poob's still down for the for the count here. Hearing the sirens blazing, the Grove members ready themselves. A call much like that of the Iron Monsters when they attacked. Taking to the fields and seeing far, the grove realizes that they are people, and not metal beings like before. Peza, it looks like our new home is already under attack, and not by metal beings this time. Everyone be calm. Now is not the time to freak out. Just ready weapons and be prepared to defend. Oh, I'm ready. Arrows are not. Be on guard. They are here.
wounded, bleeding, but alive nonetheless. With adrenaline subsiding, our tribe people begin to rest. Our grove triumphs in the face of conquest. As for the attackers, they have to plead for the Star God's forgiveness now. Let's build a room for prisoners. Why not? Do we have enough stuff for it, I guess? Not particularly. Do we have bones? We could build it out of bones, actually. Now that I think about it. Your, your jail cell's made out of bones! Hooray! That's probably why we didn't get to build those defenses in time, actually. Man. Man, oh man. Odette Berger. Berger. That's rough. That's rough. Let's build a... We'll just put it by the... I was going to put a grave down, but we kind of don't really need to. They're not really our, uh, our type of people to put a grave down, so we might just stick them in the, the stinky room. Call it a day. Anybody get too rocked here? Your grave got a little bit messed up, but it wasn't too... It wasn't too serious. Here, work on that room real quick for me so we can get this lady stuck in there. Oh, she's unwaveringly loyal. We can't, unless we make her a slave. Uh, just go, just go get her. I was gonna make a prison room, but uh, they didn't want that, so. Were you also unwavering, Lula? Damn. If we didn't execute Audette, dude, that would have been a good prisoner to have. Oh well. Is what it is, I guess. their weapons we might not be able to yeah unknown technology basic blade so we can't actually use those yet which is kind of savage here we're actually going to extend that and for now uh, actually do a little bit more we'll do it like out there that will be our research room in the future I think all right Morning after our first raid, everyone seems to be pretty all right. Gray is still a little, little wounded. I think, um, probably now. Yeah. What are you set to? What are you set to doing, Pezza? All right. For now stop constructing because we do need to actually research some of this stuff pretty quick uh, we are we are technically behind um, on our research because of all the building stuff that I've done which is definitely my fault I did that but um, it is what it is you win some you lose some mostly we've we've lost <laughs> Uh, also, we gotta move these animals. We gotta move these animal sleeping spots to. Who can actually dig stuff? Lotus, you can dig stuff. You currently, currently, Hall Man. We're gonna drop that and just have you do some stuff here. Disturbing visions. Lotus has had a strange dream. In it, he saw a black shape, unfurling in space and time, growing and consuming. The shape originated from a nearby crumbled monolith. Upon waking from the vision, Lotus feels strangely drawn to the monolith. It calls to him. Maybe. Maybe eventually. Not right now. We're too... We're too simple for that. 
I don't, I don't want to deal with stuff that's like gonna drop my colonists almost immediately because of what is affected. Maybe in the future. There's some free meat down here, though. Apparently these grizzlies just decided they wanted to fight each other for God knows. Why? I'm so confused by that. <laughs> I, I don't know why the grizzlies fought, dude. It's, it's so weird. That's my only, like, problem with it, is I don't know why. I don't know why they did that. Oh, this man's... This is very dead. R.I.P. R.I.P. Raider. Shouldn't have fought us. We actually need to get these moved to the stinky... Oh, we don't have a spot for them in the stinky house yet. Here you go. People corpses. There we go. That's where the people corpses go. Thank you. Easy. Oh, we can convert the man again. We will do that, actually. Poob! Become one with our ideology, my friend. I only say that because I would prefer if you didn't start so many fights with us. Please? Oh, building the defenses now, finally? That's alright. That's alright. I think what I'm going to have to do is maybe stop construction for now and just have people uh, people do research things I guess because we're kind of we're kind of in the boat right now where we need to do that so we can actually like progress somewhat oh look at all those potatoes oh my god God, holy shit. There's so many potatoes. Holy fuck, dude. 453 potatoes, dude. Jesus Christ. I won't sell those, dude. I won't cause a fame. Oh, no. Solar flare. That doesn't do anything against us, lol. Easy, bro. Dude, playing a tribe is the, is the fucking best. Oh no, our food will spoil. Pfft. It would have spoiled either way. <laughs> Are you just making regular meals? You don't make pemmican anymore? I guess we don't have meat currently. Alright, pause. Pause making simple meals. The only reason I want pemmican is because we kind of need that... Um, uh, what's it called? We need that beautiful sustenance to last for a long time, just in case we do run into a problem. And a mole. We're just going to say animal, alright, and then we're going to get rid of houses so they don't wander into our homes. Because personally, I wouldn't want our endangered zebra thing to be inside of my home, but maybe I'm an asshole. Maybe I'm the asshole. <laughs> Screw all of that. There we go. Because they are just making it filthy since we put the floor in, and that's going against our research and all that stuff, and... It's just better not to have it be so bad, I guess. There we go. 
So, set boundaries for our aminals. There we go. Solar flare is ending. It didn't do anything in the first place. Easy. How much pemmican we got? 214. Not bad. I don't know how many... I don't know how much pemmican it takes to feed someone, though, is the biggest problem. Every male colonist feels a wave of anxiety and anger. Some distant engine of hatred is stirring. It is projecting a psychic drone into the site through an orbital amplifier, tuned to only affect males. For a few days, some people's mood will become quite worse. Pixie tried to convert me. Oh no, a group of poor children are approaching looking for help. The children are begging for 86 silver. How much silver do we got? 177. Oh no. I want to buy back a friend who was recently kidnapped. It's just a bunch of kids, dude. Oh no. What kind of Goonies ass situation did they fucking. Did they send. Where are these kids actually? Oh no, the bears are rotting. No, we didn't get to them in time. There's the ch- Oh, they're so, <laughs> they're so fucking small. Look at them. Oh my goodness. Why has he got a nine craft at ten years old? Nine crafting. Holy shit, dude. They on it, bro. Oh, Rad ate the head of, of the raider. That's fine. Ancient danger. As Lotus draws near the ancient wall, a sense of foreboding overcomes him. He isn't sure why, but he feels that this dusty structure may contain great danger. I mean, it's kind of out of our way, luckily. What you shooting over there? A hedgehog? You gonna take Sonic out, bro? Oh no! Don't do it! Don't do it! He just wanted chili dog! Newton's still up. Michael's still up. Uh, all right, Peza, go, go give, go give food to Catton. They gotta buy their friend back. Eighty-six silver for their friend, though. That's not like your your friend must be pretty bad. So I, I don't think I've ever seen someone be put up for eighty-six silver, unless you you've been saving up to buy your friend back. But you know, I don't know about that. Calm down, Thunder. It's aight. It's actually close to mimicking real life, because it's... I think it's starting to rain or something today, so... Not bad. I can actually... Get all... Oop, don't do that. There we go. Give me the floors. With the astounding growth for the Grove, expansions were needed already. Our storehouse has become larger. Good timing, too, as it's become severely cramped with the amount of items stored. With this expansion, miscellaneous crafting spots and benches are also looking for room, soon to be provided as well. Hopefully, both Dragon and Breno find these additions beneficial to their work. There we go. Just put everything in a nice little uh in a nice little pile there. That'll help. How's Poob doing? How's Poob doing? He's got 29 days left for paralytic abasia. He might recover soon, depending on. We'll see. Hopefully we can convert him before that point. Nice. Nice, 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 nice.
fucking rhino? What? Excuse me. No rhino. Let's go do the ladder here. What the hell? Why is there a rhino out here, bro? What? Make wooden armor completed. Hooray. Everybody should be well protected now. Bone war mask? Whoa. That sounds a little bit crazy. But don't mind if I do. Area revealed. What's that? What did you find over here? Just a one by one? Looks like it. Lot has gotten food poisoning from Pemmican. Incompetent cook. Breno! Breno, you're supposed to be good at cook. Or, well, butchering. I guess you're not the most fan. I'm surprised nobody had gotten food poisoning until this point. Day 17. Halfway day 17, someone finally got sick from food poisoning. You know? Sometimes that's the... Sometimes that's the way of it. Alright, that's... 477. That's plenty pemmican, actually, for now. We'll just go back and forth with that, and then we'll have a nice balance for food, I think. Passing near the remains of an ancient exostrider mechanoid, Lotus noticed an intact transponder inside. If you could get the transponder, you could read valuable information from it. The massive mech is smashed and fused into a solid piece. You must destroy it to retrieve the transponder. Be careful, the incendiary weapon cells look unstable and will likely detonate after you do some damage. I kind of... I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to break that. I kind of want to have like a little robot buddy, but I don't know. A lot of noticed it. A lot of spotted it. For now, for now he's confused about it. We'll say that. Prime Surgeon of House Sorin is requesting a favor. His friend Oakley, Oak Cascut is interested in learning about other cultures, and he wants you to host her at Tenant Thicket for 22 days. Oak is suffering from paralytic abasia and must be kept in bed. Another person with paralytic abasia. Shit, dude. This disease is everywhere. He'll give us a bionic eye, though. I kind of want a bionic eye. Let's do it. Hell yeah, let's get a bionic eye. Oh, I forgot there was a transport pod crash nearby, and that person down there is probably dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I completely forgot about you, my friend. Oh well. You win some... You, you win all, right? 15 all, right? <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes it is it is what it is. That was that's on me though. I was not Go go refuel that. Thank you. Get some light back in this main room. We kind of need it. How's how's everybody's little room looking? They're awful, but uh, it's nice to start off with. What the hell's Lotus doing? Oh yeah, he's got food poisoning. Man, you should just rest, actually. Like, that's rough. I'm, we have food. Th this is why I have the stockpile. Because I knew, you know, eventually we'd need breaks. Breaks for the boys.
Rain careening down, drops pooling and finding different paths down Gray's face. This has led to a nice calm for Gray, gently playing his game of hoop. How far they've journeyed to this place they are now, and how far they've come since arriving. Gray has a solemn moment thinking about the future of the grove. Oh, we're, we're going to have more calves. Oh my goodness, dude. Hell yeah. I'm, I like that. I agree with this. I, it's going to be real sad whenever we got to use them for food, though. But that is the way. Pezza can now convert again. Pezza, convert. Convert! Yes, you will be ours. You will be ours soon, Poob. Recreation deprived. Yeah, you're kind of on the floor, my friend. Floor man. So excited for Poob. So excited for Poob. I can't wait for him to stand up and be able to do stuff. I mean, it, it's probably going to be hunting a majority of it. And we can have a mine, but... He, he's gonna hit. He's gonna hit hard, bro. Pain shot. Incoming damage multiplier minus 15%. What does it do with his, his stuff, though, right? What does that do? So he's not gonna take a whole lot of damage. He's not gonna take a whole lot of damage. He's gonna mess people up. That's gonna be scary. Once we equip... Equip our boy with some weaponry and stuff. He's going to be a force. Force in nature. Yeah, just build floors. I think it's about time people actually have some nice stuff under their feet, personally. Colonists are gathering to celebrate Gray and Pezza's wedding, dude. Hooray! A gathering of joy. A gathering of two souls intertwined. This matrimony between Gray and Pezza is a beacon of hope amongst the rest of our grove. May this joining of two grove members live on in the new grove's history. With this binding, I wish to take much of the burden from your shoulders, dear Pezza. From running this grove to the memories of our younger days. May the ceremony be a tale of our care and joy. With a racing heart, I'm ready for our joining together, and I hope that the fields are not sorrowful with me taking your time. As is the way of love. Perceived from the skies above it all, they seem so distant yet close to us, these pawns. Their lives hold much in the sway of the grove. Let us continue enjoying their livelihood together. Gray and Peza have married. Colonists are now celebrating the occasion. Congratulations, sis. About time, I say. Use Benet a long time, if you ask me. <laughs> that was a long time for them. The time it takes for you to hunt an animal is much longer. <laughs> I think she has you there, brother. Fair enough. Though I guess I'll just have to remember the next time I hunt, I'll take twice as long. Come now, this is a time for celebration. My friends, may we have a fine eve and a fine life for our days to come. Indeed! Now come, Grove. Let us enjoy the occasion with fine words and company, and maybe even some food, if Lotus has caught anything. The marriage ceremony for Gray and Peza has finished. The Grove grows well. The task had been set for survival, but now much for survival has been completed. Sources of food obtained, roofs and floors ensure safety from the outside elements, as well as new members, even if bedridden. The Grove is thriving, so what's next? Research finished. Basic woodworking. This research project focuses on improving basic woodworking techniques to produce advanced wooden objects. Upon completion of the project, pawns will be able to produce more complex furniture, bows, and wooden banks, expanding their woodworking repertoire. And wooden blanks, sorry. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, cool, so we have that now. We can work on, what are we gonna do next? Um, shit. 
basic agriculture, basic cooking, furniture. Do we want to do furniture first? Ooh, do we want to do that first? We might have to. Let's do let's do furniture first. Cuz I feel like that'll help us out quite a lot actually. Well, that does mean if we chop that up real quick. Look at that! All the floors! That is actually beautiful. Reaching new standards, my friends. Reaching new standards for our grove. With the knowledge obtained of basic woodworking, accomplishment holds in the minds of our grove members. A new building must be underway just so that the storehouse is not overburdened. The carpenter's workshop, which will contain much of the needed benches and tools for any purpose proposing to wood. With this side building, any wood or other natural pieces relating to wood, such as sculptures or planks, will also be found in this workshop, assisting in the storehouse's proper storage use, ensuring the storehouse isn't cluttered with nonsense. With this upgrade to the grove, the expectation of advancement fills the air. Most likely, having much of the wood stockpiled soon turned into sturdy planks for floors, walls, or even in the future, pleasant furniture, such as comfy beds or finally stable chairs at the dining table. The stars align for our grove, and soon, the beds will align their spines back into place too. I know I might be overwhelming them a little bit because of uh, because of how many things I'm I'm setting them to, but I'm not really looking to get everything done in like an efficient manner. Not right now, at least. That'll be a future future endeavor. I'll have to figure it out. That's a future Ren thing to worry about to the stars future rxc editor problem oh more calves more calf beautiful oh glorious there we go carpenter's room pop trestle workbench can go into this we'll do that soon but we do have a trestle. Actually going to grab that and reinstall here. Perfect. Oh, beautiful. Look at that. All right. This is where all of our wood is going to be made. Bop. There we go. Instantly. All right. You do not have to make timber on that anymore. I'll put a workbench in as well now that things are moved around. What does it take for us to research? Is that on the main? Or is it in the medieval? It is the medieval. All right, so for stone cutting, it's gonna take us a little bit. That's fine. That's fine. We'll have stone things eventually. Right now, it's not that, that big of a deal. The rhino came back. No, I don't trust rhinos. I've, I've had colonies explode Instantly, because of rhinos. I do not trust rhinos at all. Tattered apparel. Poob. Oh, no. Poob's got uh, really bad pants and boots. Poor man. We'll deal with those shortly. You'll be fine. I swear.
As the beautiful morning sun dawns once more on the tenant thicket, I think this is where we're going to leave it for today. Uh, thank you for watching, enjoying yourself with me, going along with your daily life. And uh, I've been Ren, Explain Cardedex, or Connor, and I'll see you in whatever is next. Take care.